everyone, I'm Lara and this is Go Simply. Today I have a chair cardio workout for you that I'm also going to throw in some upper body dumbbells uh, for strength and toning. So we are going to do a freestyle warm up and cool down and then we're going to do 30 seconds of five cardio moves, three rounds through and then five upper body dumbbell exercises for 30 seconds a piece, three rounds through. So a total of sort of 15 minute core workout with the warm up and cool down should have us just over 20 minutes, maybe about 22 minutes. If you like the idea of this workout, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and grab your weights and a chair. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, we're just going to get started here with a little bit of some side bends. We're just going to do a little bit of a warm up so we're ready for this cardio. This is just, just going to be a pretty intensive cardio workout for the chair. There are some legs involved. So if lower body mobility is something you don't have, here, just reach across. Be sure to check out some of my other chair workouts in my playlist. I have lots where you don't need to use your legs at all. Or you can skip over the first seven-ish minutes of the um, cardio portion and just do the upper body weights. For that, you won't need any lower body at all. Okay, and let's just give a little twist to one side and then the other. And one more each side. And then let's bend over and touch one toe and then the other. We'll get a little bit more torso rotation in here, as well as some forward flexion of the spine. And one more each side. And then let's scooch to the front of the chair and just do a little marching to get that heart rate up a little bit since we're going to be doing some cardio. And then let's pull one knee in for a short hold and let it go and the other and let it go. One more each side. And then let's just tap the knee out to the side and bring it back and get those hips a little opened up. And let's do one more each side. Great, and then just a few little shoulder rolls to the back and to the front. And then some overhead touch and then touch the bottom of the chair up and touch the chair sides. We'll do four more and three, just two more. The last one. Perfect. So make sure that your weights are off to the side enough that you can do your cardio and I'll set my timer. We're going to get into the workout. All right, we're right into the cardio here with a side punch and a step out. So remember, 30 seconds a piece, there is no break in between. We're just gonna move right into the next move. And without that break, the heart rate is really gonna get up there. So again, leaning off to the side, leg out to the side, punching in front. I will try my best to let you know what's coming up next. Don't worry if you don't start it right on. Chest press, front kick. So punch and kick. So I'm just kicking my legs straight out in front of me and I'm pressing my hand, flat hands straight out in front of me. Good posture in the back. So we have five moves here, as I said, and we're gonna do three rounds. And then we will go into the upper body weights. 
So side crunch with a knee. We're going to do one side and then the other. So lean off to the side and crunch it up. Touch that elbow to knee. I'm holding on to the side of my chair for a little bit of support here. So the next 30 seconds, we're simply going to switch to the other side. This workout is going to go by very quickly. And then switch. Remember I said don't worry if you're a few seconds late starting. You're moving the whole time because you're going through the transition from one move to the other. So you're still moving. Your heart rate is still staying up. You're still getting the benefit. Try not to rush. It doesn't matter if you miss a few seconds. It's not worth risking injury. So next up, we're going to do a knee tuck with a jumping jack, seated, of course. Okay, so knees come in and jack. In and jack. And in between, when I do the tuck, I'm holding on to the sides of my chair just for some little extra guided balance. Ooh, and I really feel that in my hip flexors. So those are the five moves. You've seen them all now. So we're going to go back to that side step out with the punch. So again, punch and side step. So we've already done one round. Try and have good alignment through your back. Make sure that your abdominals are held in tight. They're really supporting us through all of this. So I know this kind of feels like boxing. It's not a boxing workout. If you want to just push out, you don't have to put your hands in fists. So press and the front kick. And because we're just moving from one move right into the other without a break, our heart rate is really getting up there and that's great. Sometimes in a chair workout, it can be hard to get some of the cardiovascular. Well, this workout is going to give it to you. Okay, so we're going to do those side knee crunches. Pick one side, we'll do the other side next, so it doesn't matter. So again, I'm leaning and crunching to the side. So we're halfway through this one. Our next move is simply going to be crunching on the other side. So get yourself aligned, switch, sort of lean off on the other hip and other knee to elbow. Try to keep your leg open wide to the side there. You really want to try and get that oblique in the side if you can. If you don't want to hold on to the side, you don't have to. I just like the little bit of support. My chair isn't super wide. So next up, we're doing that knee tuck with the jack. So knee tuck and jack. And you go as fast as is comfortable for you. You might be able to go a lot faster than me. You might be going slower than me. Really doesn't matter. As long as you are feeling the challenge, our bodies are not the same, so we shouldn't work out exactly the same. Okay, so we're going back to that side step with the punch. This is round three. So this is the last round of the cardio. And then we're going to grab our weights. Okay, next we have the chest press and the front kick. Whew. It's moving quickly, I will say that for this workout. My goodness, it's going by fast. We only have three moves left.
side knee crunch. So you don't have to do this super fast, but you certainly can. If you want to add a little more cardio, you can actually, that, that really does get the heart rate up. You can certainly do that. I think I will even it out on the other side and do it as well. So I'm going to start slow because that's what I did on the other side for the first 10 seconds and then I'm going to pick it up. So one more slow here and then I'm going to pick it up. It's like a bonus move. You can think of it as a bonus move. And then we have one more. Okay, so now we have the knee tuck and out. And out. Then we're going to move into our upper body. Okay, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds here. I forgot to put it into my timer, but I'm going to give you 30 seconds here to grab your weights because the cardio portion is done and now we're moving on to the weights and I don't want you to rush picking them up. So grab your weights. Okay, and actually we only need one weight for the very first move. So put one close though, because for the rest of them we'll need both. So first up, we're going to do a halo. So weight between two hands and you're going to circle around one way and then circle the other way. So alternate through it. This is the only exercise where we need just one weight. So we will have to pick up the other one, but we'll do it safely and slowly. And if we miss a few seconds of the next move, that is okay. Whew. My heart rate is still up from the cardio portion. Okay, so now safely grab that weight. We're doing a shoulder press. So just pressing up above your head. We're doing all of these. Oh, my arms are gonna burn. We're doing all of these for 30 seconds a piece. So next up, we're going to do a bicep curl. Oh, three rounds, my arms are just gonna be dead. Okay, bicep curl with no break in between. So it's like seven and a half minutes of just constantly holding weight and those arms flexing and extending. So after the bicep curl, we're going into a tricep extension. Hello, Mittens. This is my other kitty, Mittens. She's coming to say hi as well today. Okay, so weights above your head and straight back, elbows nice and close to the ears, nice straight posture. I know Mittens, I see you, I have weights in my hands and I don't want to bump you with them. Okay, next up we have a front raise. I'm gonna alternate my front raise, so one arm and then the other. It's really good for my core because the, it, there's an uneven weight distribution. And also, I won't lie, my arms are feeling sore. <laughs> so I'm going to do one at a time. Take, give my upper body just a wee bit of a break in between on each side. So now I'm going to put one weight down nice and slowly and I'm going to take this between two hands and halo. So see, in all of that going slowly to put my weight down and get started, I missed out on about, I can see my timer, so I missed out on about three seconds um, of doing a halo. But my body was still moving. I had to bend over and put my weight down and then come back up. So my back, especially my lower back, was getting some work. Okay, 
now I come down and I'm going to pick up this weight and do the shoulder press. And again, it was less than three seconds in the transition there. And it's good because in our everyday lives, we drop something on the floor and we need to pick it up. We have to bend over in our grocery cart and put things on the conveyor belt to pay them or take them out of our trunk. So it's a movement that we do all the time. Okay, next up we have our bicep curl. So this is round two. Um, that we already started. I should have told you. When we started with the halo, we started in round two of these upper body moves. Okay, and next up we're going to do our tricep extension overhead. So up and overhead and then bend those elbows so that the hands go behind you. I can show you from the side what that looks like. There we go, a nice straight posture, nice back alignment, abdominals held in, lower back protected. Okay, and next up we have our front raise. So again, just raising it up to about eye level. And the abdominals really have to engage here when you do one arm at a time. That's a good thing. We need a good strong core for everything we do in life. So we have just a few more seconds here and then we're going to put one weight down and start our last round with the halo. So this time I'll put my weight down on the other side between two hands and halo. So curling around the head in one direction and then in the other. This is getting our triceps. It's getting our shoulders, especially in rotation, which is good for our shoulders. And it's also working the abdominals again because the weight distribution is unpredictable and all around us. Okay, so now I'm going to carefully bend over, get that other weight, and back to our shoulder press. So just pushing straight up. So definitely working the shoulder here. Also some assisting with the bicep and the tricep. And next up is the bicep curl. Okay. So I don't know about you, but just constantly holding the weight with no break in between the moves is really challenging. My arms are definitely feeling a burnout kind of a feeling and my heart rate has come down from the cardio section but it is still elevated without those breaks it stays elevated it's very good cardio so overhead tricep is next so above the head and then let those hands go behind you want very good posture here and for our last exercise, I'm just going to have to sort of guess on the timing because I gave us a 30 second break in between and my timer's about to run out. But that's okay. I, I can count, it, mostly. <laughs> okay, so front raise. I'm doing alternating arms. So again, raising to about eye level, not too quickly, but also not too slowly. And we just have a few more seconds here. I'm guessing about five more seconds. Time for a couple more reps. And let's do one more. Excellent. So now very carefully, let's put those weights off to the side. I'm just going to roll mine out of the way a little bit. All right, great job. Let's do some nice shoulder rolls. We're done. We did it. We did three rounds of the cardio and we did three rounds of the upper body. Switch, roll them in the other direction. And now we're just going to do a little bit of freestyle cool down. 
Let me know if you like that kind of a workout where you do the cardio and then weights, but you don't alternate back and forth. You just do all the cardio and then all of the weights. Let's go across. I mean, I can mix it up. I can do cardio and then lower body. And, um, and then this was cardio followed by all upper body. And then I could do cardio followed by all, you know, abdominals. Just let me know if you like doing all of the cardio and getting that out of the way and then doing all of the weights. If that's a format that's kind of works for you. And let's just sort of stretch off to one side and then the other. Oh, I feel a nice stretch along my side there. Wow, that feels really good. In fact, it feels so good, let's hold it for a little bit on this side, just for a moment. And then if you are able, if it feels okay for your spine, give a little rotation and look down. And then rotate back to the side and sit up. And let's go to the other side and hold it. And if it feels good for you, rotate down to the side. If it doesn't feel good for you, or you know that twisting through your spine isn't something that you should do, then stay where you were before. Excellent. And let's pull one knee up to the chest and just hold it nice straight back. Let that lower back is sort of getting like a bit of a release there. As you hold the other, hold the single leg up. And let's do the other side. Excellent. And let's take those hands, and I want you to link them behind you, and then pull them off to one side of your body, so that your elbow kind of sticks out the side. And then lean your ear down to the same side where your elbow is sticking out. Feel a nice stretch through the side of the neck and through the tricep at the same time. And then slowly put the head back up and move your hands off to the other side of your waist and tilt the head down. Excellent. And let's do a seated figure four. So pull up, if you can, your foot to your knee. And then I'm just going to push very gently down on the knee. Actually, I'm not right on the joint. I'm more up on my thigh. Just trying to take that stretch a little deeper into the hip. If, you, if that's already enough of a stretch for you, then don't, you don't need to push extra. I just realized I have a really big bruise on my ankle. I don't know if you can see that. I don't remember where I got it. It's not very attractive. <laughs> okay, and let's switch to the other side. And again, it's right up here. It's kind of purple, black, yellow, green. It's a lot of different colors. And again, don't push down. If you're already feeling an intense stretch just like this, there's no need to push down. And the last thing we're going to do here is just a nice upper back push out. So really, really round that back through and just hold it for a few moments. And then let's do the opposite of that and really open up the chest. You can even roll your neck a little bit if that feels good for you. Great work, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Thumbs up if you made it this far. Let me know if you like this order cardio first and then move into weights setup. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next workout.